Hello, welcome to Davis Instruments. My name is Perry Dillon. Um, I'm a hardware engineer here at Davis Instruments, and today we're going to be showing how to do a DriveRight 600E with the VSS installation option, also known as the 8126 VSS. And inside the box, you would receive the reply card, the manual, and the manual for the actual installation guide, the manual for the DriveRight 600E, and the drive right. The box contains what you see here. We spread it out so you can get a better look at it. The drive right user's guide, which will explain how the drive right 600 works. The VSS installation guide, which will help you with the installation, help you find the VSS wire. Tubing to uh, protect the wires inside the engine compartment from heat water, the weather, some extension cables to extend the ground, the VSS wire, the 12 volt wiring, and then the digital inputs as well. We have the DriveRight 600E, which is the brains or the module. We have a right angled adapter, which will help you mount the DriveRight 600 to inside the cabin. We have another mounting option where you can actually mount it and it'll clip on here to hold it so you can remove it if you need to. And then we have a visor clip, which is if you just want to mount it to the, the visor by the windshield. We have the VSS installation wiring, which has the black wire for ground, the red wire for 12 volts, and the white wire for the VSS signal. And then we have the digital input cable, which has four pins on one side, which goes to the VSS. And on the other side of it has eight pins, which goes to the DriveRight 600. And then we have the digital inputs, which we will not be discussing in this film. Then we have the accessory pack. This has the battery, fuses, and assorted parts that you might need for installation. Not all these parts will be used, but some of these parts will be used. And then another pack that comes with the VSS installation guide. And this also has some assorted electronic parts. And the parts that you will need for installation are a pair of pliers, screwdriver, wire strippers, wire crimpers, a voltmeter, flashlight for inside the engine compartment, and press wrench. We're going to do a little bit of prep work before we actually get inside the vehicle. We're going to extend the wiring, the VSS wire, the, the VSS wire, the positive wire, and the ground wire to get a little bit more extensions on this cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this accessory pack and I'm going to get out what they call the butt splices and I'm going to connect them to the red wire first so you put them inside here can you get a good close up of that okay so this would actually go inside of here these are yellow connectors so I'm going to use the yellow crimp and I put them inside here, and I crimp them down. And again, I want to give it a tug to make sure that I have a good crimp here. I'm going to unravel this a bit. I do want the fuse. You want to keep the fuse as an inline fuse so that if something does happen, it blows the fuse and not melts the wiring. And again, I'm just going to cut a, a piece of this. I'm going to strip the red wire. Okay, and again, I'm going to twist the wiring. I'm 
I'm going to crimp that wire. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing. All right, there we go. Okay, now normally for the ground, we're going to use the spade lug, which I'm going to open. We actually give you quite a few parts. Not all of these will be used though. Um, I mean, we try to cover every option and every every kind of option there, there could be, but not everybody's gonna use every option. Twist the wire and put the wire inside the crimp and hold it in place and then crimp it down. Give it a little bit of tug to make sure it's secure. And then the rest will actually make the connections inside the cabin. So the finished harness looks like this. You have the black wire, the red wire, and the white wire. You have the splicing that we just put in to extend the cables. You have the VSS cable. You have the digital input cable. And then you have the console. The next thing we want to do is we want to make the connections inside the inch compartment for the positive, the negative, and the VSS wire. And the easiest way to get a ground connection on a vehicle is to go to the chassis. The chassis is always ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up this bolt. And I really want a bolt that has no paint on it. Like if I pick, if I pick the bolt that is with a lot of paint on it or a lot of grime on it, it might not get a good enough contact. So I'm gonna take this bolt here, I'm gonna loosen it up, put this connector here, and then retighten it. I wanna make sure that the door can close, so I'm gonna angle it out going that way. And I'm gonna tighten it back up. The next thing we need to do is to make the connection of the positive wire. So to connect the positive wire, we're gonna use one of these blue connectors because I'm going around a 14 gauge wire here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this clamps around here. I'm gonna use the pliers to close this up. So that makes a positive connection. Okay, then I'm gonna take the crimp and put it here, insert it inside so that the insulation is touching the, the metal band right there. I'm gonna hold it in place. Okay, so next, Give it a little bit of a tug. Then I'm gonna make the connection here just by inserting this into here. So now we have our positive and our ground. We need to get the VSS wire or find the VSS wire.